E-word. E-word Oreo kid. Look at this guy. Mm-hmm. Who's got it better than this guy? Look at this big belly. Looks like me. Look at this guy. Huh? We're twins, kid. We're twins. All right, so, yes, I definitely have an issue. Uh, when I have wheels out here that didn't even make it to my basement yet, we have a problem. You know, you know what I'm saying? Oh, shit, we have a problem. All right, so, I got to get these wheels, figure them out. Um, models, well, finally, finally unbox this guy here let's unbox this together um this has uh been a long time waiting i've had this box all over the place it's, it was over there for months many months it was over here for many months it was back there it was over here it was everywhere uh probably two years now probably two years uh maybe more i don't know i have to look i do have a body for a nitro chuggy a teal off 4.0 and we have the body for my uh, Shelf Queen, which we run once in a while. The last time I drove this was during uh, Daytona 500. It was, uh, I, I believe it was an anniversary for Dale Earnhardt of some sort. Uh, I don't know, it might have been already uh, a year or two ago. Could be three years ago. Man, I, I don't know. But, uh, yeah, so I have a video of this. Um, it, it was perfect. Um, a friend of mine works at this school. Um, and I had asked him if he could put the flag to the middle out of respect for Dale Earnhardt, and, and he did. So it was pretty cool. You know, I, I show a video of this messing around. Uh, so I want to get to this. I want to change it up a bit. I want to take this body out. I want to take these wheels out. And uh, we're gonna, you know, put this body in there, All right? I will be using this body in a future basher. And I don't know what I'm gonna do with these wheels. I may sell them if anybody wants them. It has to go to the right home. Uh, or I may use them on my uh, Roven F5. Let's see what happens. All right? All right, so stay tuned. Oh, so. I, I thought I had an extra body. I already have too many damn bodies. And it's getting an, annoying. So I have to start clearing some stuff up. I'll, I'll, I just can never get rid of my original Losi body. I've had it too many memories. I wish I never did these stupid lights years ago. Um, so this, I've, I've raced with this and I've bashed with this. But um, it just, I, I, I can never get rid of that. This is a version one. I do have other bodies. You guys are aware of the 30 degrees north one that I've had for a long time now. All right. Every, a lot of people have these bodies now. They're almost getting played out. But they're good bodies. They're good bash bodies. See this? I use this with my... Uh, this is 33 degrees north. It's a, it's a good bash body. I also have a sticker kit for this. But I don't know if I'm going to do it. I got a, uh, like a, a wrap kit for it. Freddy Krueger, Jason, I think. Something like that. Uh, good quality. Uh, I believe it was 3M from a friend of mine. Uh, Mike Showtime, uh, his name was. And, oh, uh, yeah. So uh, that's like, uh, I'll use that for future bashers. I have other basher bodies also upstairs. So I got a lot of bodies. I don't know. I'm going to start cutting down on some stuff. I, so I thought I had another roll cage, but I had used it on this. So this is really a clear body. I just put sticker kit. You know, I just, this was a little bit of a paint to put on. And it pops out. And um, I just want uh, painted or uh, pit dog hydro bodies from now on. Um, I have another body here. I'm probably not going to be using. Anybody near me, if you guys need a body or body, you know, let me know. This is a good quality. This is the King Motor one. And the company that made these bodies for King Motor is 30 Degrees North. A lot of you guys may not know that. But 30 Degrees North made the bodies for the King Motors. Not, not the Roven, for the King Motor. 
All right, so the King Motor one has the hood scoop on it, on the front body. You guys remember? See that hood scoop? See that? It's, uh, it's pretty good. It's thick. Um, I like the the Roven one and the Losi one because it's more flexible. You know, I don't know if this gets cold, it could crack easier. I don't know. But, like, uh, I can show you a quick, real quick, a body of this guy here. How the fuck is it? Oh, here it is. See, this is really good, too. It's not as thick as that, but very flexible. Like, if you crash or whatever, it'll be less chance of cracking that, you know? Unless it may be an edge, you know, maybe a corner or something. You could probably have a better chance of cracking something, you know? But you don't want to go too thick with the plastics, you know, because you have a really high chance of cracking them. But uh, unless it's some flexible shit like this or the, the Roven one that I've shown in the past, uh, um, that's very flexible. But, yeah, I'm not going to be using this body. I was going to do something fancy with this body. There's no need for it. What I'm going to use from this is this King Motor kit that I've had for a while. I'm just going to use it. All right, so this is a roll cage. I'm gonna put, I wish I had one put together already, damn it. So let me put this shit together first. I'm not gonna show, I already have a past video of how to put all this shit together, all the screws. And I'm not gonna do that now because I don't wanna waste any more time. Um, I just wanna get this over with. And we're gonna unbox this. That's the main reason for this video is unboxing that. And we're gonna go, I'm going to turn my uh, Shelf Queen Low C5T. Uh, all right, I've had this. This Low C5T has been with me since day one. Like, since it first came out, and I'll always have it. And it's been through a lot of shit. And it has, uh, uh, you know, little by little, uh, I'll do some goodies. I will not bash it anymore. So uh, just my my conversation fit scale piece. I have conversation nitros. Not here, but uh, upstairs. Some old HPI Savages. Um, but this is my fifth scale one, you know, and this is my basher. Even my basher is going to look pretty nice too. Next. All right. Uh, I'm going to do some changes to this though. We're going to be taking the motor out of here soon. Stay tuned for that. We have some, I'll show what I'm, I'm going to do next with that. All right. Talk to you guys in a bit. Let me get this shit out the way. Let me, let me get this thing going. All right, people. So it's been a few days. A few days have been passed. Uh, right after that video where it ended with the roll cage, uh, the roll cage is over here. I will no longer be using it, all right? So I had another idea. I don't want to be putting that cage together. I'll save it for something else in the future. Um, I had a fire call, went to a fire call, came back, was super late. Uh, just busy, busy. So now I'm back down here. There's a lot of stuff going on, a lot of engines, a lot of stuff. I'm getting backed up, kid. Not enough time, and I have a lot of things to do. Oh, oh my God. All right, so let me show you. Let's finally get this out the way. I want to definitely throw that freaking box out that's been here for, for too long. Uh, so let me show you what I have here. Okay, so what we have here is my Roven Bash body. All right, so this is uh, their version. And this also has that super flexible plastic that I was talking about and uh the other clip Th this kind of reminds me of almost like a plastic for like a snow shovel or uh, like the rubber made almost like the rubber made garbage pails you know what i'm saying the, the durable stuff that's what this reminds me of man i'm not gonna lie all right uh really cool that's a pretty it's got a pretty cool look to it all right um, yeah, so, I mean, if, if you guys have, like, uh, beautiful bodies done up, nice paint job bodies or shelf queen bodies, and you want to take your trucks for a ride, throw on a bash body like this, kid. You know, you can't, you can't harm this, you know? But, but anyways, so this is what my, my, uh, my, my, my plans are now, okay? So, I've had this for a while, um... This I had removed, so this comes with this. I found them, man, because this is what I'm thinking of doing. I will no longer 
uh, put that King Motor cage together. I'm gonna use this. This is a Roven cage. All right, so the Roven cage, King Motor cage, uh, 5T cage, they're all similar and they will work, but the Roven cage with Roven body panels fit perfectly, okay? I do have some King Motor uh, roll cages, and then when you try to fit the Roven body panels on it, you have to really snug her down. And if you like put the body panels on too tight, if it's painted from underneath, it could rub off. It could rub off. You understand? Uh, so, I'm, you know, this is going to be a shelf queen, but I will drive it once in a while. Obviously, I don't want it to rub off. So, um, and plus, you know, I have so many other bodies. I might as well just, I'm going to, I'm going to remove these panels, save them. I can always slap them back on. So easy to change panels. So I'm going to, this is already all put together, save time, take these panels out, save all this hardware and put the new body panels. Well, not new, two years old or more. This box here that we have that we're going to finally unbox. This is some special wings, carbon fiber wings, real true wings, like airplane wings, uh, made in Spain, all right, from an artist in Spain. I uh, got them through my buddy Arnold from KDT Innovations. Uh, I'll show this in the future. I'll talk about that in the future. All right. It's going to be for my dragster, obviously. That bitch flies. And uh, the last time you saw this, it probably had a shitload of nitro engines. I uh, we'll, we'll talk about nitro stuff in the future. Not now. I mean, I have uh, a ton of other. I have. We can talk about pipes again. Some of you guys uh, may not know a few stories about it. We can talk about Novorossi in the future of how close we were of the, having them make the 32 for us. Uh, I even have their email. So since they're not around, guess what? I may be able to show the emails I got from Francesca from Italy. So stay tuned for that in the future. All right, so it has to do with me, Rick Brake from RB Mods, and Novorossi. All right, from Italy, not not the dealers, no nothing, from headquarters. So, all right, we may talk about that in the future. Uh, all right, so we I can't believe we're finally, I'm finally going to get rid of this box. Wow. All right, so. Here's a telephone number. If you want uh, a wrap kit from Just RC Wraps. All right. It's very cool. You know, it needs to be out in the sun so all this stuff could melt. All right, can melt on. You know, this is just a, uh, I mean, it looks cool, but you know, it's not perfect. I did the best that I could with the stickers, pain in the butt. But she's all right. All right, so I was going to put a Chevy bow tie emblem here. I never got to do it. Anyways, let's take this guy out. I will not have to take these panels out because I'm going to reuse this. All right, in a future, probably when I stop breaking in my engine. And so I have a. A new engine, I still have to go over my hybrid build, all that. So the engine I have for my hybrid build, all I can say is something big. That's all I gotta say, all right, for that guy there. Still in roller form, okay, but it's gonna be something big. That's all I gotta say. What I may do is remove these, these flappers here, these mud flaps, yeah, because I don't think those muff flaps are going to be necessary on here in the future. But I, I do want them back on here. I want to clean them up. And I know I had a set of new ones, but I might have given them away. I had a set of new ones somewhere. I would have so put the new ones on. But I can't find them. I just can't find them. So I did find this. Yeah, so when you get this... A body like this from Roven, 
It comes like with this, with the whole roll cage set up. So I remove these back parts because it looks ridiculous with that. If you're going to run this body, you know, so you got to remove that shit, right? See that? So I found these. All right, it's been a while. It's been a couple of years. I had them up there hanging. I do not know where the hardware is. So I'll just have to find some extras. And so I'm going to be putting this back onto this roll cage and to have it ready to go on here afterwards. All right. All right. So you guys already seen uh, my 5T already. This is first generation uh, Bartolone XP pipe. They sound badass. Sorry, it's very dusty, very dirty. I have to go over all this, man. Yeah. And that's it. So. We'll go all over this later on. All right. Okay, people, so here's a close-up. Here's my roll cage, my Roven roll cage. All right. Uh, do not lose these. All right, you need to use these. Losi 5Ts, King Motor X2s. You got it. Put them back on. Uh, I still have to do this, see this? So these here fall off very easy once you remove them. See that, they come off and they're somewhat of a bitch to put back on and sandwich them back on. Check it out. Here's a closer look at the Roven plastic dash body. It's like, you, it's super flexible. Like you're not, you're not breaking this. You know what I'm saying? So it's a bash body, very, very durable. All right, just a heads up. I will be saving them put them in a bag over there or something um so something a little something you can do um which one should i use, I use this shit i gotta have to get more glue so you guys could use tire glue or whatever the hell you got we're gonna be throwing some of this you don't have to but we can so i can so why not right i don't want to be over here all day dropping shit falling on the floor by myself even if uh, someone was here, I don't want to bother them, you know? I'm telling you, when you put the side panels on, a lot of times these suckers are going to be falling, 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 picking them up. I don't have time for that. So guess what? Just glue them. Just throw a little dab. A little dab. Throw them on here. Let the glue dry up a bit. All right. And then that way when we put our panels... Less chance of falling, you know? It's still, we're only putting a little bit of glue. You know, you, you, you could still snap it off and it'll fall, but this could help save some time, that's all. So that's what I'm gonna be doing. All right, people, so I found some extra plastics that I've had. It's always save extras, man. All right, here they are. I have them drying up. I glued them on also. These are a bitch too. They always fall off, pop off when you put your plastic panels on. I had to get some uh, extra screws. <clears throat> All right, so that's drying up. Uh, we're gonna be removing these wheels. I've had these wheels on here for a while. They were awesome. Uh, shit, I may even use this in my Roven F5, I don't know. So these are the 405 BRPs. And uh, they're great when it's super hot out. All right, so this would be awesome to use like around July. August in a hot ass track, especially on a track like Jersey, where this constantly turns, twists and turns and twists and turns. All right, us drag racers, we want a softer, something more grippier. But even when it's super hot out and you over burn out, those super grippy ass tires can melt away and, and get super soft and you'll actually lose traction. But yeah, so this one's here, I'm probably gonna condition them a bit. And just put them to the side. Put them in a black, in a plastic bag. So let's get these off because we're going to be putting our new wheels here, the three D ones that we got, and uh, should be cool. Should be should all go good together. All right, I did buy. Uh oh, E Word Oreo. Yeah, he's with me. He's been here the whole time. He's been quiet up until a little while ago. Yeah, this guy's been through a lot of stuff with me. Uh, I did have where are they 
So I had all these made up a while ago. I was gonna use them here. I really don't like how this looks. This was just temporary anyway, but it's been there longer than what I liked. So I was gonna use these here, but now I will no longer use these. Uh, I have for other things. And uh, let's see, let's see what happens. All right, so let's get these guys out of here. Yes, sir, E-word. E-word or are we okay? Ten. All right, people, you ready? Finally, man, after two years, okay, let's do it. What do we got here, folks? Uh, I can finally throw this box out. So, this here says February 7th. 2019 kid all right so that that's when that's when i got this that's when that shit was here all right so it's been here too long let's finally unbox this kid 2019 in the beginning of the year what do we got here what was i up to in 2019 of february what was i up to what? Oh, snap, kid. What was that? What was... Damn, the Botajal in 2019 was up to some nice Zeneca Fest stuff, kid. All right. Just for records, it is now 2021. All right, just in case I'm looking at this video years from now. When I'm a real old man. When I'm looking back at my videos. 2021. And this shit was here since 2019. Alright. Nice. This. Let me get rid of this. This is going to go. This is our number plates. What would have been. Any questions kid. I like that. It's a big shout out to Tom Pit Dog kid. Badass. Any questions? Oh, what? Oh, snap. We should really, this is really two unboxings. Oh, man. Ah. I see a, I see a TLR body, kid. I don't know if I should show that now. Man, I was going to do a whole video with that. So in 2019, I was going to completely rebuild and go over my 4.0 Truggy, Nitro Truggy, TLR Truggy, and give it a new look. I was gonna go over everything, replace every seal, everything, and then put the new body on, and this is what it would have looked like. Badass, kid. Badass. We'll take a closer look at this another time when we talk about nitros, all right? Oh, wow. Oh, super sad, bro. Look at the flames, kid. Holy super sad. Oh, my God. I can't believe this shit was here two years, kid. It was here two years the whole time. What? Damn. Oh, my Lord, bro. Ooh, shit. All right, people, listen. I'm going to take this all out the bag. Holy shit. Wow. Wow. Look at this. I know video ain't gonna do justice, kid. Video is not gonna do justice because the lighting here is retarded. It's, whoa. Dude, those flames look serious. Wow. Damn, they look real, bro. That shit is so hot. My hand is getting hot, son. I can't hold it, kid. That's how hot that bitch is. 
Wow. Look at the quarter panels. Everything is so beautifully wrapped. Tom is just a professional, kid. That's dust. That's a Picasso right there, kid. Shit. No way. No way I'm bashing this, kid. I'm sorry. Look at that. Oh, holy. Damn. Oh, my God. Look at this. Look at this. Oh, Zanaka Feza. Wow. Now, now this work of art is almost finished. It's never finished. Huh? Huh. All right, so this Losi 5T has been with me before I did YouTube, before oh, a lot of stuff, man. When it first came out, when Losi first came out with it is when I got it. This was number three, Losi 5T, out of Willis Hobbies that he's ever sold. Number three. Number one went to Roy, that owns my favorite restaurant. I mean, look at the sparkles, bro. Look at this quarter panel. Look at the candy. Shoot, man. Wow. Any questions? Nope. Tom did a spectacular job, kid. Wow. Tom, you're doing some badass work back in 2019, kid, and still today. And still today you do. Damn, kid. All right. Let me get this guy on. Let's get everything together. 